What are we even doing here? La Brujula. That's right. I tried their sardines before the bigger one. Okay, man, I'm gonna stop you right there. Buddy, God damn it. You already reviewed this can. Somehow you got it into your head that the first can of La Brujula's you tried were the three to fives. Well, they weren't. You must be thinking of the big penas you had around that time. Hey, what if you had some kind of, I don't know, record of the sardines that you've already reviewed. Wouldn't that be nice? Here's everyone's chance to see if my two reviews are consistent or if I'm just totally full of crap. Oh man. It's the three to fives, the four to fives, I think. And today, I have a chance to try the small ones. That's right, La Brujula Conservus Artesanus number 31, sardines in olive oil, 16 to 20 pieces, product of Spain. So look at this fancy, fancy box. I think the Spanish like to put their sardines in a really elegant, classy looking box, you know, like your Ramon Peñas, your Espinal, or La Brujula here, whereas the Portuguese, I think they lean towards a more funkier, illustrative vibe for their boxes. I don't know, that's just, that's been my observation so far. And the, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a texture here and, um, I don't know, I just like looking at these things, man. They're so, they're so nice. Let's open up. Okay, so, normal box. Open this up so you can have a look. Yeah. Very good, very good. This is a, uh, a beauty show on the level of, um, I guess like the Conservas de Combados or maybe the uh, Espinal or in terms of how pretty they are laying in here. You can tell that's a big deal to me. I don't know, I like, I like the wow factor when you open up the can. But look at these guys, they're very pearlescent. We see some, some stuff here that's kind of coming off them. Um, they packed in pretty tight. You see the corner of a guy kind of smashed in over here, but that's fine. There might be 20 guys in here. We turn him around. Just pretty all over. <laughs> pretty uh, fishy smell out of here, you know? Not fishy bad, but fishy sardine, you know? I can tell. There are sardines. It's not just like, you know, Oh, olive oil. It's it's definitely sardine. Wow. Okay. Really interesting taste. Really like defined fish taste. I don't want to say fishy because that means the wrong thing to a lot of people, but I mean this is the taste of sardines. And there's quite a lot of salt too, but I think that's I think that's helping. I think that's helping, kind of open up the uh, the taste of these guys. They're pretty, nice and firm. Love touching these guys. Love handling them. It's again kind of the same firmness as maybe the uh, Conservas de Combados. Maybe a little firmer than the Espinalers. Wow, what a flavor! What a flavor. Kind of an earthy, an earthy taste. Yeah, earthy. I don't know what that means. Let's take them apart. See how well they want to come apart. Yeah, pretty well, actually. For a small one, I can feel these coming apart pretty easy. Well, spoke too soon. Nice spine. Oh. See what do we got? Mmm. Okay. Lots of different colors here inside. I like to touch them with my fingers. Uh oh. That one's on the table. This table's getting messed up, guys. Wow, these would be so good to, um, you know make uh what do you what do you got like caesar salad dressing out of them or something they taste so specific i don't quite remember how the bigger ones lined up 
whether they shared this. These are the best sardines I've had since the Espinolers. Maybe they're a little bit more right down the middle in terms of taste. These got such a thing going on. Now these ones at the bottom, they look like they're absolutely saturated with the olive oil. Kind of interesting chew to them too. You got a really orderly way that they crunch up. They don't, they don't mush up just because you're squashing them between your molars. Not the prettiest, prettiest fish. I mean, you still get that nice gradient here. Yeah, especially on this side. But they're not just, they're not flawless, you know? I think it's tough when you wedge them into this rectangular can to really have that pack where you get two layers that lay out just perfect, you know? Mmm. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah, you know what time it is. I'm just going to uh, thrash what's left with this stuff. <laughs> now we're having fun. Mmm. Kind of hides that that taste that I was really being impressed with at first. Also, after you eat 20 of them, you uh, you get used to whatever was very distinctive about them. And after a little while, you're just eating fish. Man, these were so good. Where did the time go? We're gonna get more stuff from La Brula. They've got the same kind of variety as everybody else. So a lot of fun to be found. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, remember that time that Elon Musk went on the Joe Rogan show and he partied with him? I bought the t-shirt. <laughs> You just watched the 50th episode of The Canned Fish Files. I wanna thank anybody that watches this stuff. I know this channel is no big deal, it's small, but I swear to God, I have the best audience on YouTube, thank you all. And if you're like, whoa, there are 50 of these? Yes, my dude, go get caught up. Thanks again, bye.